Today's topic is understanding who we are as individual people in this world, a person, a man, a woman. Sometimes it may be difficult to understand who we are as an individual from a wide range of reasons. Whatever your reason is, I can only elaborate on my reasoning, my reasons why it took me so long to even attempt to understand who I was as a person. I just remember growing up as a kid and, and not having everything that I felt I should have, that other kids had, two parents, a wholesome home. A lot of us don't have that, I didn't have it. So I searched through other people so I can at least touch it, feel it, feel what they had and understand what they had just a little bit. And I did that and I felt it for a little while. But what I started feeling, it wasn't mine. It was theirs. And I ended up becoming somebody who I truly wasn't. For years, I was someone who I truly wasn't as a person, as my own identity. I did not have my own identity because I grouped, I clustered these individuals who I felt had a normal life together. And I became all those individuals. All those individuals. Every one of those individuals had a little part in me. And I wasn't me, I was all of them. And I lived my days doing things that they might do, acting certain ways that sometimes I felt uncomfortable acting just because I wasn't me. I lived through other individuals' identity. And then when I started learning and when I started feeling and understanding that these things that I was doing wasn't really me, I had to make a change. I had to put myself back in my own shoes and start learning who I was as a person. I had to process certain things like struggle. How do I get through struggle? How do I get through a stressful moment? How do I get through pressure when I feel someone is pressuring me? How do I get through workforce drama? How do I get through drama with friends and family? I had to sit and ask myself these questions. I had to sit and put myself in these situations where I felt emotions, good emotions, bad emotions. And I processed these things within myself. And step by step, I learned who I was and I started to understand my own personality day by day because I tested myself. I put myself on a, I put myself in situations that I would have to have things to go through so I can understand the emotions within myself. So I can understand the things that I was not taught by a parent growing up because I didn't have it. I didn't have it. So I had to learn myself. I had to test myself. Whether you like writing, whether you like reading, whether you like doing math, whether you like dressing up, putting on makeup, whether you, whatever you like doing, writing poetry, singing, rapping, dancing, doing backflips in the front yard, running, running track, whatever you like doing, I say you do it. And don't be afraid to do it because that's a part of you. That's a part of who you are. And if you continue to hold back the little parts of who you are, you will never be you 100%. You would never be that you that you dream of, that you secretly dream of because you're holding yourself back. You have to grab hold of who you are and you have to express yourself. <laughs> express yourself. Don't y'all laugh at me. You have to express yourself. And once you start expressing yourself, you'll see your full potential blossom as a rose bush. You will become so beautiful and you will love yourself so much. Express yourself. Be you. And you will become everything you ever dreamed of and wished. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.